The 80 billion shilling state pensions manager, the National Social Security Fund, has been riddled with controversy from time to time. The controversy has often revolved around the failure of the NSSF to safeguard billions of shillings in workers' contributions. In recent times, the irregular sale of properties at prices below valuation and the uncertainty over share certificates worth at least 1.4 billion shillings, which were held by troubled stockbroker discount securities, compounded the intrigues at the NSSF, leading to management troubles and bad blood between government and KOTU, which sits on the NSSF board. Workers will demand and appeal even to the President, His Excellency President Kibaki, to sack the minister. The same law they say have broken, that same act, is the same act they have not followed for the last five months. Last year, Labour Minister John Munez sent the then managing trustee Rachel Lumbasio parking and dissolved the NSSF board in a move he said was aimed at saving public funds and paving the way for investigations into the management of the National Pension Fund. We must do a forensic audit of this to make us understand NSSF, to make us ascertain whether all this money is in place. It is that audit report by the Inspectorate of State Cooperations that has landed Justice Said Chitembwe in court. The report revealed how the NSSF made a series of bad investment decisions that saw the fund lose up to 3 billion shillings. The pension manager transferred a prime plot on Kenyatta Avenue to a company incorporated three days before the transfer. The disputed plot measuring 1.9 hectares, now utilized as a parking lot opposite the Lyco Regency, was sold at 860 million shillings to a firm different from the one that had bid for it. The plot is one of five which the fund sold to low bidders, losing at least 35 million shillings in the process. The plot was undervalued by 15 million shillings. The audit report also queried how a 10% deposit for the plot was made before the offer was accepted by the NSSF and how a down payment was made before a sale agreement was signed in January of 2008. The plot was transferred on the 6th of March to Delta Square, the firm incorporated just three days before the transfer. The plot is one of the five plots said to have been disposed of contrary to requirements of the provisions of the Public Procurements and Disposal Act. The National Social Security Fund has property estimated at 21 billion shillings. The arraignment in court of Justice Said Chitembwe is the highest action to be taken against high-ranking personalities at the NSSF as the government moves to clear the rot at the pension manager. Drita Tinina, NTV.